Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to episode 346 of the Spearhead Sundays podcast. We have a very special guest episode, this one. I'm really excited about it. It's with Justin Ryan. Now, this is a guy who uh, has been drumming up attention and trolling and creating viral content ever since the Facebook days back in, I think, 2014. And now he's huge on TikTok, Instagram, heaps of other platforms. Uh, this is a guy who um, I have heard people say is faking his disability for attention or is playing uh, a character or pretending to be someone that he's not. So with this episode, I really wanted to get to know who he actually is uh, and really go into his backstory. I met Justin for the first time uh, a few weeks ago. He came to one of my shows and I really got talking to him. We bonded. Uh, I found out that he's uh, been in foster care since uh, he was two years old, uh, has been through multiple different homes. And, you know, as a foster father myself, we really bonded over that. And uh, this podcast, uh, we talked about it. He really wanted to um, present his actual story, who he actually is, and talk about some of the hardships that he's been through in his life uh, that he has triumphed over. Um, I love Justin. I think he's absolutely hilarious. I think he gets a lot of undeserved hate, even though he is drumming up negative intention int intentionally, I do think that people are not seeing that he's doing it intentionally. I think a lot of people think that they're just bullying some guy uh, with a mental disability when really he's the one that is manipulating all of these people. So I hope you enjoyed this chat with Justin Ryan. I think it's really funny. I think it's really insightful. And I think uh, there's a lot to learn about who he actually is is enjoy justin ryan welcome to the podcast thank you very much for coming on i'm excited lewis you are lewis spears yeah i've got to say your whole name you know yeah that's right the whole name's good yeah you know? it's justin ryan and lewis spears um now justin uh this is the first time you've done the podcast but we have met before I, we met uh, in sunshine coast uh you came to one of my shows and we hung out a little bit before and afterwards yeah it was good actually your show was fantastic it was oh, funny thank you very it much it was funny actually yeah i yeah i so they they there you have it guys justin ryan glowing review I, I feel like you're my my core demo as well yeah 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 <laughs> um you've got braces yeah since got, we last met i got braces man that's cool how, how are they going <clears throat> i fucking hurt yeah you're in the first month of braces, which is pretty, it's a pretty horrific. I remember. It's, it's pretty, it's sore. Yeah. Yeah. Are was, you a little bit lispy as well? You're yeah. still getting used to talking with them? I'm trying to, yeah, because yeah. it keeps getting caught on my, inside of my, on my yeah. side. Yes. Yeah. So why don't we, uh, why don't you tell people like who, who is Justin Ryan? Where would people know you from? Cause I, I have known of you, fuck, it would have to be like Facebook days. Yeah, it was you were going viral yeah, on Facebook. It was, it's definitely Facebook, man. Mm. <clears throat> Facebook, man. Like, yeah. hectic days. Yeah. Best days of my life. <laughs> <laughs> so you reckon it's all on downhill now? <clears throat> I wouldn't say downhill, but... Yeah. <clears throat> I say, like, when I when I go on a Megal TV to mm. see if people recognise me, oh, they say, you're the guy off TikTok. <clears throat> yeah. Every time they say, you're the guy off TikTok. Yes. And I said... I've got a name, you know? Yeah, it's, and it's Justin Ryan, and that's the full name. So, yeah. I suppose how I would uh, describe you is, uh, is, a, is a serial troll. Yeah. you just like causing shit. So, I first found out about you just making rant videos about yeah. the haters and calling the haters out. Yeah. Uh, but in ways that seem pretty obvious to me, that yeah. you're obviously just stirring them up, making them even angrier. Yeah. But a lot of other people... <clears throat> Uh, have taken you very seriously and have become very <laughs> upset by you, which I think is so funny. And it's why I've got you on, on this show because I feel like a lot of people perceive you as a character, like to a, a guy that's not real almost. Yeah. And I see what you're doing and I see that you are playing up certain aspects of yourself to stir people up and you're giving them that Justin Ryan character. But I've gotten into... <clears throat> So especially since meeting you, I've gotten into arguments with people being like, oh no, he's putting on a voice and he's pretending to to have a disability, but he's actually a completely different person off camera. I, I have a disability, but yeah. he's a learning impairment, but <clears throat> like I can do whatever I want pretty much. 
that's that's what I'm telling people. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm telling people, no, no, no. You're actually getting manipulated by Justin Ryan into <laughs> becoming so upset with him that you think that he's pretending to be disabled or something. I uh, do you have a disability, buddy? but what, what is the disability? Uh, epilepsy. Um, a growing out of epilepsy, mm-hmm. and uh, my schizophrenia is not that bad anymore. It used to be terrible back in the day, but yeah. it's all good now. Mm. Um. Learning impairment, like have trouble reading and all that. Mm-hmm. But yeah, how's how's that affected your your life? Do you <clears> think? <throat> um, definitely the epilepsy back in the day. Like I was having seizures; it was mm. not good. I was having blackouts, schizophrenia. I was seeing shit. It was bad back in the day. It was really bad. Yeah, really bad. Like it was scary. Mm. <clears throat> and so. How long were you dealing with the epilepsy and the schizophrenia? Like, um, I had when epilepsy. did it start and when did it kind of <coughs> peter off? So I had epilepsy when I was like growing up, mm. like two in two those fifteen or sixteen years old. Yeah, same as schizophrenia. Mm-hmm. When I was like teenage years, I had schizophrenia. Mm-hmm. I had schizophrenia because. Like, my mum had it and it got passed on to me. Yeah. Yeah, it was, like, not good. Yeah. Wow. I'm a bad mum, yeah, but, yeah. Mm. Um, and so, what, what was uh, what was your childhood like? Where did you where did you grow up? Where did you... So, I was born and raised in Brisbane, mm-hmm. but I, I was in foster care when I was two years old because mm-hmm. my birth mum, like... Couldn't walk after me, but she was schizo and she was on drugs and she was yeah. hanging around with people like in bikies and stuff. But mm. yeah. So you were in foster care from when you were two, two. years old, yeah. Two yeah, years old. Wow. Yeah. And how how long did you I don't know if you know this, but I've I, I've uh, been a foster father. Yeah. Um for for many years. Yeah. Um and my my son has now moved on and he's living uh with with uh, his family that he's related to, yeah, um, and he's doing really, really great. And yep. I see him all the time, but um, yeah, I, d- I never knew that about you that that you grew up in foster care. How how long were you in foster care? So, <clears throat> I was in foster care when I was two years old, mm-hmm. um, to like sixteen. The reason and the reason why um, I moved when I was sixteen, y- sixteen years old because like. Me and my foster mum, like, we weren't getting along. Like, mm. I was playing up a lot. I was getting arrested by cops a lot. Yeah. Yeah. What did, what did you get arrested for? What were some of the things that you did? Uh, like, pulling knives and stuff mm. on people. Yeah. Like, I couldn't control it. That My schizophrenia was that bad. But yeah. it's no excuse, man. Like, mm. And, like, I was living... When I was 16 years old, I was living with a lovely lady that took me to that took me to church and like got the help that I need and I went to counseling I went to mental health that's beautiful yeah got help yeah, yeah. and uh and so you say this this lady kind of turned your life around a little bit or helped Pre- you to pretty, do that pretty much yeah yeah pretty much yeah wow that's that's amazing yeah it was good so what is um what have you kind of taken from growing up like that uh, like how how has that um, affected your your worldview or like the way that you see yourself or other people? Like, is there any is there any wisdom that you can take from going through that experience? Because it, it must have been really difficult at times. Yeah, it was difficult. Like I was so suicidal, mm. and like this, you know, I needed help, and I yeah. reached out. Like, like I lost a lot of friends to suicidal, like real real bad and stuff lost my sister last year to suicidal in a dv oh, i'm sorry man relationship that she was in but mm. you know it's pretty pretty sad you know it's not like some people say they can't reach out to get help but you literally can reach out to get help like people are scared because they don't want people you know some people feel bad about getting help but yeah. it's always worth getting help out there there re- so, there really is and there's there's so many services that you can engage with out there for almost any scenario that you can 
think of because yeah like as as you know i when i was when i was fostering yeah there's so many resources that you engage with that i didn't even know existed i was like oh my god and all of those services have dozens to hundreds to thousands of people working in them to try and help uh people especially like disadvantaged youth hundreds as well yeah. yeah yeah so what um if it's not too personal what what services did you kind of engage with that that you felt helped you mental health mental health i went to the i went to like mental health ward i was you mm. know got put in the fishbowl and yeah because of my mental health and all that like and after that when i got out i just got help and mm. went to a counselor and like you know talked to people and there was services out there that i can help people with mental health mm. especially like when you get help man like changes your life you know you look back and say thank god i didn't you know in my life you know yeah so good you know life is so good you only live once so live it when you can <laughs> that's it you don't know when your day is up mm. yeah tomorrow or today you don't know that's that's true you know i've i've lost people who yeah. should still be here yeah. you know and it and it really when you see it happen and when you see how it affects everyone around them and yeah. you and 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 everything like that it really demonstrates how lucky we are to be here at all yeah. to feel those awful feelings even even that yeah it makes you go ah oh, even though this feels terrible i'm i am actually blessed to feel it at all yeah and to have a chance to process these feelings and to let them go and to come out on the other side because not everybody gets to do that 100 percent. yeah yeah um so so you you left foster care at 16 is that right uh or you move from one one place to, to another a, to another yeah um yeah i moved and all that yeah you know i got got moved to house to house because people was finding where i live it's crazy man got yeah a lot so of stalk, so when stalkies. did you start when did you start posting online and when did it really take off so so i posted 2015 on facebook yeah and and how old this, are you then i was 17 i was just wow. posting photos and yeah. i was getting a lot of traction on my photos like 10k likes 7k likes on my photos it was yeah. crazy started getting recognized on my photos had a bit of clout on my own on facebook and you're so you're in foster care at the moment you're posting photos and becoming famous on the internet yeah yeah wow 17 years old yeah that's crazy and what what did people think of you back then i was a fuckwit um they wanted to find me bash me you mm. know? but people people don't understand like to take a joke in these days you know people can't take a joke these days you know that's yeah see when i first saw you and i, yeah. I feel like it was around it must have been 2015 16 and so i feel like is when i became yeah. aware of you immediately i was like this guy is joking like he's he's being funny he's entertaining people and i f i felt like so few people saw that yeah most people just were, were like oh this guy's being deadly serious yeah no we have to fuck with him for some reason and the internet is ruthless man it is especially it? especially with you when when i see what you're doing and i think it's very funny i like i feel like because I've done a lot of similar stuff like this where yeah. I'm, like, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a, a video or do a stunt to piss off a big group of people it but breaks. I've always had the general public be like oh we see what he's doing yeah but you you're camouflaged people yeah. are just I'm I get into so many arguments of like no 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 he's like taking the piss a lot I just do it for entertainment purposes only <laughs> <laughs> I do. It's entertainment yeah. purposes only, guys. So. Yeah. yeah. So when so but when you first started posting, right around yeah. 2015, yeah, did you think I'm going to create an account and I'm going to fuck with people, or did you kind of I, accidentally fall into that? I did a lot of research, you know, before I started. Really? No one knows that. Yeah. Watched a lot of YouTubers. Yeah. How the what were you researching? Just you know. 
how to how to go viral. Yeah, you know? right. How to go viral. How to like get people to react in comments. Mm. How, you know, share. You know, talk about me. You know, like, right? So the, you, so you, you're at, you're 17. You're in foster care, and you yeah. think I want to go viral. I was watching YouTubers. Yeah. Watching YouTubers. I watched Logan Paul, Jake Paul first. Yeah. Then See, Jake Paul. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's how we got Justin Ryan was with, with Jake Paul video. You were sitting there studying Jake Paul and you're like, I can do this in Australia. Yeah, 100%. Like, I literally watched Jake Paul, see what he was up to. Yeah. And like, it was crazy. Like, mm. I know, like, my... Some of my friends know Jake Paul, but yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I was w- watching how to go viral. I was just watching what he was doing, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, he was a bit, he was trolling too. So I thought, like, oh yeah. my god, this works. So, you know, I might try this. And I was watching YouTube videos. How to go viral? Mm-hmm. They said, be cringy, be funny, yeah. make people angry, get haters, get lovers, get fans. You know. And yeah. you've you've really nailed it. Yeah, I think. I mean, yeah, it's crazy. This hotel is very nice. Yeah, it is. How nice. long? How long are you in Melbourne for? Like another week. And so, what? Three weeks or so? I've been here for like two. Yeah, I want to stay another week. I love Melbourne. So, like, so maybe a month. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, sorry, guys. Justin's killing it. <laughs> yeah. He's he's staying for a month in Melbourne. Very nice hotel, and he got braces. Yeah. You know, how expensive braces are. They're very expensive. Mine was the 8.2k. Yep, 8 grand. Yeah, 8 grand. That's how much it cost me. Yeah, and I only just got them off. Do you know how long you're going to have yours on for? Two years. Yeah, that was was almost how... Because I had this this huge gap in my teeth that they had to close. Yeah. Um, But you'll be stoked when it's finished. Yeah, I can't wait. And it makes eating so much easier as well. Yeah. Like when I had really bad gappy teeth, eating food was such a struggle. But now that I've had them off yeah it's like way easier to eat it was like when you have braces like to be honest like it's annoying because it gets stuck in food gets stuck in your braces and you've got to clean it all the time but you know what it's a flex all right all these people out there they flex their grills braces cost more than gold grills really right? i yeah. didn't know that yeah what i know that? i didn't know that either what? until i paid eight grand for braces whoa a pair of, pair of gold grills will cost you maybe Three grand, sometimes two thousand dollars, depending on who you go to. Really, braces are a flex, man. I'm telling you. Well, that's your next video, showing off your braces like they're grills. Well, like I'm rich out here. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Okay, so we're in, we're at, we're up to 2015. Yep. And you're posting videos, and you're getting traction, and you're trying to annoy people. When <clears> when <throat> did you start making videos, and what what were your first videos? about and like and what was the reception to them because i think the first videos i remember was your big saga with gem gem yeah so um jacqueline jacqueline um messaged me back in the day say oh do you know gem gem and i said who's that so she messaged me about gem gem because jacqueline messaged me because i already had cloud on facebook before i met Gemma. Mm. a lot of people don't know that Everyone says, oh, you're using Gemma for cloud. And I said, no, I'm not actually using Gemma for cloud. She's coming to me, asking me to make her relevant again. Yeah. Like, literally, because Gemma was falling off from Facebook in 2015. Like, and Jacqueline messaged me because Gemma needed help to make videos. Mm -hmm. And Jacqueline noted I can make videos and all that. Yeah. So she reached out to me for Gemma. Yeah. Yeah, see, there's, there seems to be this whole NDIS cinematic universe. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> like... In Australia, like... It's and, crazy. And you're Thanos. <laughs> yeah, I'm Thanos. You can't touch me. <laughs> you can't touch me. <laughs> That's yeah. very funny. Because, yeah, every time I go on TikTok now, yeah. you're doing a live stream having an argument with someone else with a mystery condition. Like, it's not my fault. <laughs> it's not my fault. It's not when they come at me, like... like for me on live, yeah, a lot, a lot of people don't say, a lot of people don't know this, but for me on live, if I have beef with somebody, it's real. I'm not like these other little petty TikTokers that do be in group chats and mm. fake drama before they go on live and try to still gift this and stuff. Yeah. 
Like that's what they do on TikTok, man. Yeah, yeah you're the you're the OG. You do. I'm the OG. Real. I'm the original OG on social media. I don't give a ugfa anymore. Like <laughs> I don't. I don't. <laughs> if people want to come for me, yeah. And we like you know, it was good for you. Like mm. you've been good to me for a couple of years, and you tell me your secrets. I'm gonna expose you. <laughs> I don't care. Don't put me on show. <laughs> don't put me on a show like yeah. I don't give a up fame man like if people want to come at me mm -hmm. real bad that's right about my speech impairment mm -hmm. like I do have a speech impairment people don't believe that but I do yeah, yeah. Um, he does I've met Justin off camera hanging out for hours it's like what you see is what you get 100% and you put braces on top of the speech impediment that's what you get but you know yeah. what that's an $8,200 speech impediment man. I know I, so when I get my teeth fixed Mm -hmm. It's over for you. It's over. <laughs> it's over. That's right. Dude, my whole life changed when I got nice teeth. Yeah. I have to move out of Frankston. I don't fit in anymore. Really? Yeah, because my teeth are too good. You're lucky, aren't you? Yeah, that's right. Was, like, is Frankston good or... Fra good Frankston's you? like, uh, where, are you, where are you from? Frankston's like Blacktown. Like Sydney? Sydney area. Frankston's a rough area. Yeah? Yeah. Is it? Mm, it's not crazy. It's not as it's not as rough as Blacktown. It's okay. It's uh, it's rapidly gentrifying. Yeah, becoming nicer. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Um, Did you see that that kid on the train, Tommy? Yeah. Tommy What's, on the train. What what video? The vile kid. The vile kid. What are you saying? The SJ kid. Yeah. The little trolley kid. Oh. He was in Frankston. Yeah, that's my landlord. He owns, yeah, he owns my house. Yeah, didn't you hear him? He goes, "I own Frankston." He comes over that to guy, my yeah. house once a month, and no I, way, I got to pay rent to him. Really? No, he's twelve. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were serious. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were serious. No, right? no, okay. I don't know that kid. Okay, um, but I have seen the video. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, fuck, you're funny. Um, so. All right, so we're at the 2015. You're making videos with Jam Jam, yeah. And you have, you you guys have a romance online. I I did like it till she you know till she um fucked me over. Right, because you because I I remember it would have been it felt like a year of just back and forth videos of you proclaiming love for each other and kissing that, and that was real saying like, fuck the haters. You were in a real real relationship. That was real, but yeah. at the end of the day, you know. Like, I did care for her and I did, like, love her and stuff. But mm. at the end of the day, when when chicks want to, like, f fuck me over, it's game over for you, sweetie. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We have we have standards yeah. here. and uh, like, like, I do care for her, but she's yeah. crazy, man. Like, right. People, like, she's literally crazy, but I, feel, I do feel sorry for her, for her condition, but... Mm. Oh, well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go as far to say that she's crazy, but no, in real life, like she's the same. I'm not even joking. Right. Like as, when as, she's on the internet, she's mm -hmm. in real life at the same. Well, I, I haven't met her. I've got. I, I can't. I can't pass judgment on on this sweet girl. But sometimes she acts a bit normal in real life. But mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Um, could be playing a saw, but <laughs> <laughs> when she's home alone, Jem Jem takes off the mask. It's a robot underneath. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> um, Hammerline forty six. <laughs> um, all right. So, yeah. so you you blow up on Facebook. So, what did your whoever you were living with? What did they think of of the, at the time of your fame? Um, that was slowly coming up. They hated it. Yeah. Like, the, like. I literally told them when I was 13, I said, not even joking, swear on my life. I said, I'm going to get famous one day. Like when I was 13 years yeah. old, I, I said, I'm going to get famous. Everyone laughed in my face. The whole fam, the whole, my yeah. sisters didn't believe me. Mm -hmm. Even my teachers didn't believe me at high school. And look, and where are they now? Probably Work, still teaching. Working at a fucking special school, making mm. shit money. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you should go back and buy the school. Ah, uh, don't want to buy a special school, though. No, you you want nah. you want like a public school at least. Turn that shit to private. I don't I don't know about schools, man. Mm. Like, get weird names on the internet, you know? Yeah, People right. Calling me shit. Like, so, so people would show up to your house. Used to, yeah. Yeah, when when you were living in uh, in foster care when you were like seventeen. 
That was that scary. Um, it was like, yeah, like it was pretty scary knowing pe- where if people. You know, it's like being like a celebrity in America and Hollywood. People mm. know where you live. Mm. Scary man. Yeah, but but in Hollywood they've got big gates. Whereas yeah, they got big gates, and I just there's a gate that you can jump the fence and come in. Mm. Yeah, come right. in my house. Game on. <laughs> 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 yeah, you'll you'll end up with with bite marks, teeth marks, and braces marks all over your face coming to Justin Ryan's house. Just, um, pl- just play a bit of baseball, you know. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> so around this, after this, you start to become kind of prolific on all social media yeah. platforms. You yep. really, really start to blow up. And around this time, this is when people. Kind of start figuring out that you're you're definitely playing things up for views and that. I don't know if people still know, but um, like it's for entertainment purposes only. only. Yeah. Like I do take the piss, and people say, "Oh, you're boring. No, you're falling. How am I the? F- how am I falling off? When I was like top seven in the dailies in TikTok like two days ago, how am I falling off? What's that? So the top seven on what's in the Australia. Dailies? On top seven Rankings. most viewed TikTok creator, or is that live, live streamer? Streams? Yeah, wow. Live streamer. That's uh, yeah. That, I'd say that's a that's a probably a, a huge indictment on the TikTok live stream community, isn't it? If you're number seven, number seven in the whole of Australia and New Zealand. Yeah, that's that is like that is huge. That is I impressive. Know. So, and you're making money off TikTok lives? I wouldn't say money. Just saying, like, you know, it beats your count up. Mm. Gives you more attraction on your but you, But you make money from doing TikTok Live Is what I mean I don't know, do I? Do I? I, I don't know I don't know if you I see, do. You seem to be funding a month in, in a hotel in Melbourne Some some way Your your business fascinates me, Justin Does now, it? Yeah, absolutely I do make other money on social media but like Yeah, so how, how, are you, how are you supporting yourself now? Like, what, where so, does your money come from? Oh yeah um, only fans I don't really You know Want to do only fans No more Yeah <clears throat> You know What What was only fans Like When did you start it Um Two years ago But it got linked Everywhere Yeah I'm gonna see you Motherfuckers Those leakers And if what I, were you posting On your On your only fans Um This myself There's a lot of Respect to the gay community was, They got money man <laughs> 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 They do They got money <laughs> So your so the the main demographic like customers on your OnlyFans was was gay men. Yeah, gay men. Yeah, that's uh, that's interesting. And how did how did how did that make you feel? Because because you're not gay, are you? Um, are you bisexual no, or you're no? Straight? I I did try when I was younger. I didn't like it. Yeah, that's not for me. Mm. It's not for me to be honest. Yeah, it's not for me. I did try when I was drunk, but yeah. Because there was no chick there. <laughs> so you just took what you could get. Beggars can't be choosers type. 100% $20 is $20, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I tried it. Didn't like it. So, oh, this is, you know. Oh, you got to try anything once. I don't know how. Twice. Yeah, 100%. I don't know how people do it in Hollywood if they want to get famous, but, you know. Mm. Um, so... Did, did you make a lot of money on OnlyFans? Was it worth doing? A bit, yeah, a yeah. bit, yeah. It's worth doing, but I wouldn't, you know, it's like kind of selling your soul, you know? Mm. Feels a little bit yucky. Um, to be honest, I would sit, sell my soul to Lisa Fly if I was right. more famous and stuff. But And <laughs> did did you, was it only solo stuff that you're doing on OnlyFans? I was just or? doing solo stuff and some girls came out to me and reached out and like, did some, you know... With some OnlyFans girls as well. Yeah, some so tapes. Like, so full-on pornography then? Yeah, pretty much go, like, oh, tap, 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 tap. Yeah. And then that's it, just six taps and then you're out? Then no. You, six, six taps and the last tap is you tapping out? It was warning, it's tiring, man. Like, <laughs> some girls are good, some girls are bad in bed, you know? Yeah. Mm. Biggest can't be choosers, right? That's... <laughs> <laughs> when you can get it, you have to do it. If you got no option somewhere else, you know. Mm, yeah, right. <laughs> okay, it's true. That's that's true. So, so now that you've you've been doing this since like 
twenty. You've been doing this in twenty fifteen. So what is what is that? That's a, that's a long time. You're coming like up on ten, 10 years. Ten almost. years, baby. Ten yeah. years. So what what are you doing now? Like, do you have like a a goal, or are you working towards something, or you know, want to be rich? Mm. Want to be rich? Hundred percent. I want to be rich. Yeah. I want to be rich. You know. I believe you. I want it. That's my goal. Yeah. Like, if I was rich, I would make my own organization for like my own charity that it, the whole of the money that makes the charity keep running. I'll give, I'll give it all the money to that charity. And what would the charity do? Like, help people, you know? Mm hmm. Any, any specific type of person or? Probably, probably mental health, and I'll mm-hmm. probably make it another one for like. Um, you know, I don't know. I haven't thought of another one, but, but like, would you be interested in, in helping other kids who grew up in similar situations as you or? Yeah, probably. Yeah. I would do that hundred percent. I would mm. like help kids that need help, like encourage them to get on the right path because this, the government's not doing anything, man. They're not, they keep saying they're going to fix the youth crime. They don't. Yeah, because you, cause you, obviously, you have a very intimate experience with, you know, growing up, like... Yeah, I was pretty dis- violent when I was a teenager, yeah. Yeah, di- not only growing up in foster care, but also growing up with, with disabilities and, yeah. and mental health issues, but then going through the legal system as well, like, you've ex- you seem to have experienced yeah, crazy. all of that at once. It's, yeah. it's, a, it's actually incredible that you've managed to turn your life around and, and become, like you know, a productive member of society. Like that's hundred percent amazing. It was like hundred percent. I wanted to change my life around, get the help I needed, but you know like I know how it feels like to lose people and like your friends or your family members and you wish I wish I I wish I'd I wish I'd done more, you know. And you know What do you what do you mean by that, done more? Um, you know, I saw them more or like Yeah try to help them more and like they don't tell you they just you know do it sadly but you don't know what anyone's going through but when people say are you okay they say yes but they're not okay inside they're Mm. upset and depressed in life and they don't want to talk to people because they don't want sympathy or they feel embarrassed about their mental health Mm. yeah it's not good yeah I think that being able to be a lot more open with struggles and things is very important and also reaching out to people and talking to them is is also very important but you you also can't beat yourself up and blame yourself or feel like it, you've contributed to someone doing that to themselves that that it can feel it can because i've i've experienced similar and i've kind of landed on it oh, that's that's them at the end of the day you can't you you can help people. You can't save people. people. And it's important to not look at things in hindsight and be like, oh, I should have or I could have done that. And, you know, th- those are lessons that you that that you apply to people who are currently here. You can't, you know, you, you know, shouldn't beat yourself up. It just hurts when you lose a family member of or course. like a friend. Yeah. Yes. It's very it's, tough. It's, it's that's great. Yeah. You know, it's uh, my... my uh, something that I learned is, uh, is grief is, is love that has nowhere to go. Yeah. The person isn't, you can't give it to that person. So it just has to come out as pain sometimes. Yeah. 100%. But, <clears throat> but that's what, that's, that's losing people. And that's, um, you know, it's just a, a part of being alive. You get to experience that awful pain. Yeah. This feels scary, man. Like, mm. It can, yeah. It, it can, can be very be. scary. Yeah. Yeah. Especially, yeah, coming from where you've come, where you where yeah. you'd be surrounded by a lot of people who have experienced similar and just didn't survive it. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Mm. Yeah, don't do drugs, kids. Like, honestly, don't do drugs. Drugs are bad. I used to be like Unky J back in the day. Mm-hmm. Like smoking bongs, doing pingis, doing going to parties so much, mm. doing ice back in the day. Um, yeah. Doing ping is doing ecstasy. It's yeah. not good, man. It's not good. Yeah. And you, you're off all that stuff I'm now? All, I'm off all that. 
I'm all you're a, a fucking anomaly, dude. Like all this stuff that you have overcome is honestly very, very impressive. Thanks, Louis. Appreciate it. Yeah, I mean it. Yeah, I appreciate being, it. Like I'm, honestly, from yeah. the bottom of my heart, I appreciate it. It's, you know, life is good, but life is evil at the same time. You know. Mm. You know. You gotta you gotta be careful who you trust out here. You know, hundred percent. You know what? <clears throat> there's uh, there's intelligence and there's wisdom, and I think all this stuff has given you an abundance of wisdom. Thanks, Louis. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> so, it, means, it means a lot. Like, no, I'm, honestly, I'm does. being for real. There are so many people out there that would have befallen to any one of these things that you seem to have, you know, been through and endured and triumphed over. I'm sure you still have your struggles with it, you know, current day now as well. But you're doing incredible, I think. And yeah. this is this is the side yeah. of people that I really wanted to show. Yeah, uh, the side of you that I wanted to show people. I appreciate because it because I got I got this in just a couple hours hanging out with you in Sunshine yeah. Coast. I was like, holy yeah. shit! There's so much stuff that I had no idea. Yeah, hundred uh, percent about you that I feel like people it should be out there so that people can kind of see that you know yeah. you're not just this character that you put out. You're also this you I'm know like, this human, this person kind person like mm. I help a lot of people when I can mm -hmm. but at the end of the day when you help too much people they keep they keep coming back or they you, need you need to you need to try to not help at the expense of yourself I know but like I love helping people but like if I don't like I've been fucked over so many times because I helped the person and I came back and I said Oh, sorry, I can't help you again. I mm. helped you this time. And, mm. like, they turned on me and went online and bullshit about me and shit. Yeah. Yeah. But that's that's just how it is when you're Facebook famous, man. Oh, yeah, I got the tattoo here. Yeah. What does that say? Facebook famous right here on my neck. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, got, I got the tattoo right here on my neck. I didn't know you had that. Yeah. When did you get that? 2018. <laughs> when I turned 18, I got the tattoo. I said... You're going to have to cross that out and write TikTok famous. A lot of people say, oh, you want to get TikTok famous on your um, other neck? And I say, oh. Your other neck. If you pay me, I will. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, you hear that? He'll, he'll, get his, he'll get a tattoo on his other neck if you pay him enough money. Yeah. That's right. Where's your other neck? Right here. Oh, the other side of your neck. Yeah, right. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, <laughs> how long have we been going, Gillen? 35. 35. Okay. I have... Uh, we do um, yeah. life advice questions on this podcast. Where oh, awesome! People will send in emails asking for advice. Yeah, now, I haven't read I haven't read these before. Yeah, uh, so I'll just have a little scroll and see if we can find something that we can get Justin Ryan's wisdom uh, across. All right, we've got this one here yep. from uh, from Sam. They said, "I won the lottery." Hey, Lewis. I'll be anonymous for this one. Uh, about a week ago, I won a very large amount of money. I can't fucking believe that it happened and I'll be receiving the money in a week or so as they make you wait so you don't spend it in the excitement. I'm 21 years old and I put my resignation in at work as me and my partner will now be able to retire very comfortably even after paying off my parents' mortgage for them. My question for you what tips would you have on how to deal with family and friends from now on? And what do I do with my life now? Hobbies, drink alcohol and watch the sunset. I guess I'll have a lot of time to figure it out. Wow. So someone's won the lottery. Wow. They've got unlimited money. That's and they don't know what to do with the money. And they don't know... You know what I, you know what I do? Mm -hmm. Go see... Go see a lawyer. <clears throat> go see... Um, invest, invest your money. Trust me, invest the money. Yeah, invest your. What are we money. investing in? All right, we've got fifty million dollars. Where are we putting it? Top three, top three stocks. Properties. Properties. When it goes up. Good. Don't, like, be smart with your money. Mm -hmm. You know. Probably, I would invest it in like, I would like buy a new company for an airport. Yeah. So we're buying property, we're buying an airport, and what else are we buying? Not a private airport, like like a big like airline. Airline. Or buying an airline. We're going airline. That's, That's what I'll do. Yeah. Do you, you can get Tiger for fifty million dollars, probably. 
Yeah, you get Bonza. Yeah. All right. What's the third thing we're investing in, Justin? Properties, airport. Um, I don't know. Just don't, don't, like, just don't tell everyone you won the lottery. Because yeah. Don't. I think that's a. I think that's a me. big thing. I reckon. Don't I, tell the news. Don't don't go in the news <clears throat> and brag about it because people will, they mm. will, they will, they will hunt you down because yes, they will. Trust here's, me. Here's a great. Here's what you should do. Um, you should. You know how churches how they do tithing. Twenty percent of your income goes to the church that you go to every week. It's called a tithe. I actually have that with the podcast. Yeah. So if any listener wins the lottery, they've actually agreed to give fifteen percent of that to me. Oh shit! Really? Yeah, through my PayPal. Oh wow. Well. Yeah. So that's obviously that's going to be the first thing that he's going to have to do yeah. is send fifteen percent of that to me. Thanks, Sam. Thank you very much, Sam. Uh, and after that, <clears throat> yeah, I think you're right, Justin. I think you don't you don't tell you don't tell no one. You don't. You certainly don't tell anyone until after you've gone to a lawyer. Go to a lawyer. You figured out how to. You go um, into a vista. Because also, I think you need to protect the money from you as well, from yourself. Yeah, because right? money. If evil. I got fifty million dollars, I would have no idea how to make sure that stays with me for the rest of my life. Like, if I'm if I'm twenty one, I'm probably gonna live for like if if I'm twenty one and rich my whole life, you probably got maybe you might have another eighty years left. How do you make sure you don't spend? a million dollars less than a million dollars a year for the rest 50 million dollars for the rest of your life it's a lot of money but you could <clears throat> you really could blow it yeah you in can in 30 years 50, and 50 then millions like it seems a lot but it's less than a million a year for the rest of your life people spend a million dollars a year some people blow it like buy mansions but like seriously Sam like don't blow it man like that's a big opportunity you have right there, man. You won 50 mil, guys. Like, if I won 50 mil, we'll go see a lawyer. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll have a budget a week that I'm allowed to I would, Yeah, I would have account. a trust set up that yeah, pays trust. me a weekly allowance. So you don't blow it all. Maybe once every six months, I can go to my lawyer or to like independent third parties and go, can I afford to buy... A holiday home and yeah. they can and if they vote no i go thank you very much gentlemen i'm not going to buy it because that's how i would do it like and then that way if friends and family come to you asking for money you can go look i would love to help but it's not even my decision like i've locked my money away between behind two yeah walls, that independent th- even if it's not true you go look my money's in a trust i only get 10 grand a week so I can't help you with this. Yeah, interesting. Something like that. Like, and yeah, you, you just you when when you meet people in your new life, you tell them, oh, "What do you do for work?" You go, "Oh, I were I'm an investment analyst," this, or something confusing and boring that would explain why you have a nice car, but wouldn't imply that you have fifty million dollars in the bank that they could ask for. This Sam, if you. Don't tell people, man. Trust me. There will be a lot of old friends that will come back to you. and want to be your friend because of want money. Want to be a business partner. Yeah. Got a good idea for a new investment. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Just, you know, Sam, just don't brag about it because people might, you know. You you maybe tell your parents. I want to tell my when parents. You, when you pay off the mortgage. No, you wouldn't tell them? No, I think no, you wouldn't. No, I want to just pay it off. Mm. Just okay. pay it. <clears throat> and, then, and they'll go, and so, all right, so <clears throat> you've paid off my mortgage. Where the fuck did you get that money from, Justin? What are you saying? Um, I say, I won it. I won it on Mr. Beach Show. <laughs> <laughs> he never posted the video because I said ne- the N word. He never. When I won. <laughs> he never posted the video because, you know, I'm too famous out here, baby. That's true. I have enough clout. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I suppose. Uh, do, do you do you have any contact with your with your parents or any of the other foster families that that looked after you? No, I don't. No, they don't like my fame. They don't like my clout. Mm. No, they don't. I don't really talk to them to be honest. Like, I'm doing my own thing. Mm-hmm. Like, when you when you make it in life, like literally make it on social media and get a name for yourself. Yeah, and all that. It's crazy, man. People stop talking to you Mm. because you're doing better than them. Like, honestly, 
<laughs> yeah. Honestly, it's good money in social media. <laughs> but I believe if you me. if you can't get on social media and yeah. get, go viral, you need a plan B, man. You yeah. need a plan B. Like it's harder to go viral these days. It is. Yes. TikTok's easy, but you know. Yes, but it's not. It's not as lucrative. It's yeah. lasting. But, like back in ten years ago, it was mm. if you know what you're doing, you can yeah. go viral. Well, I'm I'm happy that you've come come onto the show because um, it was good, it's, man. It's good to show people like who you really are. Yeah. Because. <clears throat> a lot of people think you're a character or for example Keelan had you blocked who's Keelan that's that's Keelan here did you block me yeah he, he had you blocked and, <laughs> he, and, like he said, <laughs> and Keelan said please don't tell him that I <laughs> I blocked him years ago was I coming up on your feet too much yeah when I was about 18 <laughs> it was constant <laughs> holy shit see you got a hater in the room right here with you I'm a converted hater though fuck I'm the no haters I'm no longer a hater yeah <laughs> I came home and I was like, dude, Justin Ryan's a ledger. He's like, oh, I blocked that guy years ago. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> you got to unblock him. Sorry if you miss this, but watching my videos, man. <laughs> 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 if you had one, I don't know. <laughs> he does, but not for long. Okay. Uh, not now that now you're unblocked. <laughs> Mr. Take Your Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, well, jokes, jokes, jokes. All jokes, all yeah. love. Thanks so much, Justin, for coming Thank on the you show. Guys. Where can people find you? What are you working on at the moment? So, my TikTok's Just Me Mind TV. My Instagram is is Just Me Mind underscore. My Facebook is Just Me Mind with the blue tick, you know? Yeah. YouTube's like, I'm trying to get that up, but yeah. But yeah. All right. Thank Great. you, Lewis. No worries. Thank See you. See you soon. Peace out. <laughs>